But at the moment, I want you to look down there at that roundabout and the museum behind it. Okay, so it's just a quickie. But before the museum was built, when it used to be a green area, I said I'd do that the other day, so no exact date. But here we go. Same roundabout, same curb there on the left, same building behind the museum. Just the museum itself, new. There we go. Plenty of those coming today. This isn't just a random pan of the triangle. We're going to do it then and now again in a minute. Now I believe this photo would have been taken from that window up there. That's the Seaview Diner, looking in this direction towards the triangle. Now this is 1983. This is my era. This is when I was at my peak hanging around down the town and coming down here. So I can give you a few things to think about in the picture. First of all, in the next to the shelter to the right, you will notice a blue um, sign sort of faces towards Smith's. Well, that used to be a light up sign where you'd had buttons at the bottom and you could press them and it sort of say the lighthouse and a little picture on a map of the lighthouse would appear. Also right next to that side of the shelter, that's a little um, red box there is the stall used by the Herald Express seller who sold papers in the triangle. Yep, 1983. How I really do remember that. Really remember well, that. Well, this Lovely. isn't a million years ago. It's 2010. What I want you to notice though, to the bottom left, along the uh, wall, there's railings, which I've never seen. Didn't know they were over there. But none along that side, but there's some over there now, just a few of them. So there used to be railings here at Spray Point in 2010, but I can't say I remember them and I can't say they lasted very long. Would have been just along here on this bit. And they probably went round here as well, back in the day. But we get to here and these seem to be relatively new or newer type that's more of a scaffolding thing whereas the others are proper railings here we go 1914 roughly here oh yes So that's 1914 steam train at Dawlish Warren Station. Lovely. Shall we have another one? Why not? Okay, this is roughly here. Can't line it up exactly as the uh, paths have changed. But um, we need to imagine that we're up in the air as usual, much higher up. And uh, unspecified date from this location roughly. There we go, like I say, it's uh, pretty much that's the road down there in the picture. But um, you've course got the trees and you can't really see much else. Elephant Rock Cafe. Was it Elephant Rock I was thinking of? I'm not sure it was. But that's the Elephant Rock Cafe anyway. Obviously closed down. What a feeling that used to be called a Red Rock Cafe. Not sure. If I can find a picture or something, I'll slip it in, but I'm not, I don't know. So we'll finish off this section anyway, with a little then and now, taken roughly about here. Give or take tuppence. I think it was anyway. Here you go. Obviously from higher up, and not exactly this position, but roughly, anyway, date unspecified I'm afraid. Ok, 
Okay, so note the church and note the railings in front of the museum. Let's go back in time to, I think it's the mid 80s, with a mural on the wall. There you go. Before the museum was built, that blue building used to be a museum, actually, the small museum. But we'll go into that another day. We find ourselves by the Bella Vista again, unsurprisingly, it always seems to feature somehow or other in the videos. But this is basically here. This road here would have carried on and swept up right over the cliffs to Dawlish instead of the road we have now. And um, there's going to be a pavilion built here, proposed to be anyway. I would assume for the picture this would have all been demolished to do it. But um, anyway. There's a church there, and make of it what you will, here's the original plans, or the proposal. Well that would certainly have made for a very different Timworth, wouldn't it? Interesting. So bus right here on this corner. In the 1960s, number 70 bus by the look of it, taking people to Coombeville Road, facing down what is now, of course, a runway street. Here you go. Yep, that was here by Fort's Cafe. Okay, here's a then and now for you, but it's a little bit more than just an old photo. This is 1892, exactly here on this stretch of land and your stretch of track. And um, you'll notice that it's exactly on the day when they're transitioning to broad gauge railway. So you've got the struts across a half and half on each one. And apparently they did this overnight. So here you go. That was 1892, transition to broad gauge, seawall, Timmouth. Lovely. these Bella Vista ones but it was the Bella Vista before it was the Bella Vista I believe it was called Venice House by the sign and I'm not sure whether or not it was part of the building next to it but here you go so there we go Bella Vista before it was the Bella Vista when it was Venice House and possibly joined as part of the building next to it Well that was the fair in modern day, with all the modern rides, but would you like to see what it looked like back years and years ago? Wait no more. Now that photo would have been taken from one of those windows I think, or possibly the balcony of the cinema, looking directly back behind me, which is this shot. Ness is in the same place. Bit of a different fair. Now I've been asked by Rob in the comments if I could do a little then and now about this place which is Six of Strand Timmouth and that used to be the Lifeboat Inn. It replaced the Foresters Inn custom built in the 1870s so it's been here for a while. Here's a picture of it when it was in full swing as a pub. I've also got a beer mat that I can show you as well. Here you go. And no doubt when it was the pub, it got a lot of its business from what was the Morgan Giles shipyard, which is where the Leander Court flats now are, just up there. But we've done the Morgan Giles 
a few times in other videos but if you just search Morgan the top result will show you exactly how it used to be okay so there where the cliffs are slightly different and they've got all the things stuck in them that's where there was the only rock wall in the last over 200 years um, back in 2014 they were repairing this wall there's the original wall and there's a new wall now I showed you a picture of it the other day and I told you I had a few more pictures to go with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk along this piece of wall here and as I'm walking I'm going to flash the pictures up no real order to them I'm afraid and obviously I can't match them up because uh, I can't sort of stand on the railway line to shoot the other way but it would have been this stretch here by those cliffs and I'll leave the background noise on so you get to hear the sound of the sea as you look at the pictures Feel free to use pause, of course, although it's a bit late for me to say it now. Anyway, we come to the end of the new section of wall, should we say, to the older section there. And that's probably that one that's in that the last picture I've showed you. So there we go. That was that. Just a quick shot of where I come to see my chiropractor. And the reason I'm showing this is because it used to be a railway station of all things. There are still some tracks behind, but I can't really access them or where they were. But I've got some pictures inside anyway, just a little extra thing. So that's a few pics that are on the wall in there and so yeah it used to be a railway station or a railway building should we say all good so you've got these machines a little bit like pinballs but a bit smaller there's no flippers on them or anything and there's about three or four of them in a line all built into a one piece thing and you pull the plunger all the bounces up and there's a traffic light at the top and if every time it hits one of the barriers Changes the traffic light by one or two you know, movement, and if the ball goes down through the centre and the traffic light goes on green, the roll of sweets comes out, and otherwise you lost your money. And it was actually a fascinating machine, never seen them anywhere else, and they were handmade possibly for the pier itself. Anyway, here's some shots of them to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Thanks, Dan. I'm right, just going to pop to the end of the pier for some of Dan's pictures. Right, so back in the pier's heyday, before it was widened out on both sides, and it used to just be that width all the way along, over there in this corner used to be like ride on carts, very boxy, bright primary colours. Been here all my lifetime, I can remember them. Here's a couple of shots of those in that corner. Further along you have some mini motorbikes and some mini race cars which were here. Here you go. And then towards the end of the pier there was that red shed hut which had remote control cars. You can just see the picture of a car on it and the steering wheels are still there where you could drive little remote control cars around inside it. Here you go.
And finally, just past that shed, there was like a crocodile ride and some other stuff. Is a shot of the very end of the pier. Well, there we go. That's how it used to look. All the way up here when you had all the rides and attractions in full swing. And that, again, that's pre-2014 when everything seemed to stop here. Right, well thanks again Dan for those pictures, much appreciated. And the trees don't help, but here we go. 1960s, last photo in the loop. We're talking about Bank Street over there, and um, well, here we go. Picture speaks a thousand words. This is our next picture in our route round. Back here, I think. You see the building ahead of me, Somerset Place with the windows. Here we go for the next one. Here we go, hold entrance to the London Hotel. Here we go, about here. About here, I think. There we go. Pretty long here, I think, roughly. It will take tuppence. Can't really get that one exactly, but that would have been here. There we are. In the picture it says club. There we go, down here. Uh, better attraction, I think. Would have been from about here. Well, of course, it was Sports Cafe in the 1960s. Here's the next shot. But as we walk along here, let's take a moment to think about 1850. Artist impression of this bit of the wall. Here you go. So there we go, that was 1850. A little bit different. 